Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright and I hope you're having a fantastic, fabulous Friday. It is Friday, TGIF. Here's your unemployment update for Friday, April 23rd, 2021. As we finish off the week, find out what to do and how to know if you've been a victim of unemployment fraud. You may not know, I'm gonna show you how. How President Biden's new stimulus package will help millions find employment across America. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity and the great news of one state that's inching closer to increasing unemployment benefits for all. It is a huge, huge state. Hint, hint. After this and how to win 1900 bucks. For the best news and information to master, dominate, and elevate your money, your business, and your life, stay tuned to this channel. Also, giving away $1,900 cash. We hit 190,000 subscribers, which we are so close. We're gonna give, I'm gonna give cash, $1,900. I'm just gonna push it through the air into your bank account. All you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment. We're gonna pick a random comment. That person is getting, hopefully it is you, that's getting $1,900. I'd love to give it to you and give away more money. As the channel grows, we're just gonna give more money away. Also, in the comments down below, when you see me highlighted with a check mark, that's me. If you don't see my name shaded with a check mark, it's probably shady. So that is not me. Also, grab your Weeble stock down below, two stocks for free, valued up to 1,850 bucks. Yes, it's a limited time offer. Make sure you don't miss out on that. When you deposit $100, it's worth more. Also, my real estate special is still going on, limited time offer. It's a $4,000 program. It, it's usually 900 bucks, now $99 to you with the code BOOM, B-O-O-M. That's, you use that, it's $99. I'm a developer, I cost me almost $45 million in experience to be able to put this together. So it is an, I wish somebody had developed a course like this so I didn't have to pay $45 million in mistakes. So you get it all for 99 bucks. Finally, thanks to my Patreons, you guys rock. But first, scammers from around the world are still targeting unsuspected Americans for their unemployment benefits. They're going after your benefits, your ID, and a lot of, con a lot of places they can buy for two bucks. That's it. We had a little thing that we were doing, uh, somebody from another country, I don't wanna throw the country under the bus for one guy that happened, two dollars to go ahead and get your benefits. So make sure they're, they're taking billions of dollars are being lost. And these dollars should be in US citizens' pockets. They're, you're the one that's gonna be taxed for it. You're the one that paid taxes. It should be going to you. Eva Vlasquez, Chief Executive Officer of Identity Theft Resource Center, and I had to pause for a second because I got her name right, I think offered some guidance on how to know if you've been a victim of unemployment fraud and what to do once scammers have stolen your identity and unemployment funds. Yes, because you got two problems. One, your identity is out there, out and about. Two, they think that you got money. Three, you're, getting a, you're gonna get a tax bill for that. Not cool, right? The biggest giveaway that you have that you've fallen victim to unemployment fraud is that you receive a 1099G tax form in the mail, but didn't apply for unemployment insurance last year. Again, I'll say it again. If you get a 1099-G, that is the state not sending you a love letter. That is an IRS form saying you got money. It's a dead giveaway. It's horrible. Once you've determined that someone has stolen your identity and unemployment benefits, act quickly to report the fraud to your state's unemployment office so that it can get fixed so that they can hopefully recover the money, and maybe if you need it, you can get the money. Vlasquez explained that they should go into, quote, protective mode and take steps to reduce your risk in all other areas because you are vulnerable, end quote. Your stuff's out there. Your, 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 your information's on the streets, and it's not cool. For more information, including a state-by-state -state resource for unemployment fraud victims, please check out the link below in the description to ensure that your identity and the funds have not been compromised. It's in the description. It's not gonna be in the comments, so we, I can't, can't guarantee what somebody's gonna put in a comment other than a random comment's gonna get picked and win 1,900 bucks, but in the description is that information for you. It's in an article. You can even go to the source article so that you make sure you get to the right place. I don't want your identity to be stolen again 
So just to let you know. Meanwhile, President Biden made some very bold claims yesterday regarding unemployment for millions of Americans during the speech promoting green initiative to help combat cli climate con change, right? You can't say warming because some places warm, some places get cold in case you missed that memo. Yeah, that's why they say change, right? Biden stated, quote, it's an opportunity to create millions of good paying jobs around the world in innovative sectors, end quote. I guess we'll be helping people all over the world. He explained, quote, as we transition to a clean energy future, we must ensure that workers who have thrived in yesterday's and today's industries have as bright a tomorrow in the new industries, as well as in the places where they live and the communities they have built, end quote. This means if you're doing a job that is an old job, there's new technology, new stuff that you could be doing. That transition hopefully will happen efficiently to help out people and the government's gonna bridge the gap. The Energy Department announced today $109.5 million in funding for, quote, projects that directly support job creation in communities impacted by changes in energy economy, end quote. This is incredible. This is like stimulus that just came out of the blue. Hey, let's just stimulate some more stuff. Here's some more money. Here's some more money. Wish it fell on you, right? This is great news for millions of Americans across the country seeking employment opportunities to maintain our planet and combat climate change using cleaner energy. Even if you don't believe in it, maybe you think it's hype. It's new jobs, better energy. I don't know. So what? If it's a new job and better energy, why not? Cleaner air? Well, I mean, the benefits are clear. Finally, some good news from the great state of Florida where their Senate unanimously approved. Yes, unanimously. I, I, I said that correctly. You heard it correctly. Approved an increase in unemployment benefits for claimants across the Sunshine State. This is phenomenal. The vote was 40 to zero. Yes, that would be a winning game if you were playing a game. That would be a blowout is what they would call that. So there was a blowout on this vote. The Senate voted yesterday to raise state unemployment benefits by 100 bucks, much to the delight of millions of Floridians who will get their orange juice um, and can kick back and maybe get some free beer, which was part of the earlier video. I hope you get your free beer. Senator Jason Pizzo explained, quote, today I'm very proud to be a member of the Senate. We're doing what right and decent for their people. Whatever political will, whatever influence, whatever self-respect you have that you can invoke and impress upon our House colleagues, please do. What does this mean? Well, there's Senate, there's House. So it passed in the Senate, which is pretty universal. So if the House doesn't pass it, they're going to look pretty bad. They're going to look bad up in that house. Senate Jason Border stated, quote, this bill is just an effort to raise levels to meet the needs of Floridians. In the last decade, the cost of living has risen, the price of housing has exploded, and we need to respond, end quote. Folks, it's like 45% of a lot of people's wages. Come on, like, like duh, like house, get your house in order. Senate seems to a blowout. That's amazing. This is great news for all my viewers in Miami, Tampa Bay, uh, Orlando. I hear you guys. I see you guys in the comments. I knew the frustration you were having with unemployment. That's why I'm saying those, those particular cities. Hopefully I have more cities than that. Anywhere else in Florida, everybody else in Florida. And I hope that the proposal passes the house and becomes law soon. So if you have a cousin, brother, neighbor, nephew, mom, dad that's in the house, kick them. Kick them. Say, if you don't vote, we're kicking you out of the house. If you still haven't applied for unemployment assistance, get your head start. Get a head start on this weekend. It's Friday. I already feel like it's the weekend. Apply today. Get your PUA or your UI website. They're a lot of times two separate websites. Put your employment history up there if you're a part of the unemployment insurance. If you did not have employment history, don't make up employment history. You'll get caught up in the bureaucracy. Put your, put your ID in there, over identify yourself. That way you, they know it's you because of all the fraud that's going around. Fill out the application to the best of your knowledge and abilities. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna be graded on this. You just have to tell the truth. Be honest, answer some questions. You could receive a backdated check of over $20,000. You didn't lose it. If you have lots of weeks or you were unemployed, you gotta claim those weeks. You claim them per week. 
That's how it works. If you're a gig worker, self-employed, independent contractor, 1099 worker, you got a side hustle or you're just a freelancer, don't miss out on these funds that you probably don't think you qualify for because you didn't pay into the system. Well, you could be eligible for the PUA. I'm not kidding. These are amazing government benefits that help you get the money that you need during this tough time because they didn't leave you out. And keep sharing your experience with the PUA because when you do that, sharing is caring, of course. It also supports everybody in the community to know this stuff is real because people every day still, even though we tell them, they don't actually check it out. And also, I'm getting geared up to tell you guys what Ironman I'm going to be doing, what triathlon, and I want to see how many of you guys want to join, uh, join the, the event we're going to have. Anyway, take care. Love you. I'm Andrew Cartwright.